Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Electric Dreams demo in virtual reality. Now, just a heads up, if you get dizzy a lot, please do not watch this video. I'm going to try to move as slow as I can. However, if you do have a VR device, a PC VR device, I'm using a Quest 2 right now. I am letting y'all download this. It's about 20 gigs, so I had to upload it. It's going to be like a dollar. Anyway, download it, play around with it, because honestly, this looks better. It's a lot smoother on my actual Quest 2 that I just got like a couple of days ago. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I have my hands here. We're good to go, and I'm going to use my thumbstick to kind of move around. I'm just sitting right now, so I can kind of record my audio. So we can move forward, and we do have the turn left or right so if you're following along that's how you can control it additionally I did add Nvidia image scaling to this so if you press J that's gonna turn it on and then L as well if you want it low with NIS and if you want to turn it off just press K and it's gonna turn off NIS so that being said let's go ahead and turn it on All right so that's L this is J All right, so just turn it on there you go so this right here, if you're looking at it through your VR goggles or headset, whatever you want to call it, adding that little bit of sharpness is really freaky because this to me <laughs> looks really real. And the Quest 2's resolution and screen is not even that good. So I can only imagine what this would look like on, say, like, was it the Pixmax or Pimax and, or the... Uh, Varo Aero. So if y'all have those devices, man, it would be really cool if y'all can check this out because you definitely, this is the most photorealistic VR forest I have ever seen. And that's what and that's what's exciting about Nanite and Lumen working in Unreal Engine in VR. This is a big, big deal because this really changes everything. Additionally, I mean, this entire project uh, it uses substrate materials, so that's just another tech that you know, looking at that water right there it, it just looks fantastic, and then we'll go over it here in a second It's crazy man Now this is the kind of VR that I'm excited about This is just this is insane. And what's cool about it is hardware will eventually keep up so that I can run this at high settings, you know, with the correct headset. And if you are trying it, let me know your thoughts about this. If you have a headset and you downloaded it, let me know what you think. Because man this looks amazing and, and what's crazy about it is at least in vr i'm not seeing the shadows flicker right you might be seeing it on my recording but on my headset this legit looks like i am walking through this forest like i can smell that deer from here so let's turn left and again i'm trying not to move too crazy here and this is the standard lighting, by the way, so it is just a little bit overexposed, like I said, in the highlights there. But I am, like, constantly re relighting this scene here because it's so fun. Got a little rabbit. I just added a couple of animals in here. So pretty. Man, this is like the best environment Quixels ever like released. Look at this thing.
spell or a thumbnail there. Get it? Thumbnail. <laughs> okay. I let myself up. Alright. My goodness, man. I mean, honestly, looking through my Quest 2, I'm running this, I believe, at 90 hertz. This looks like GoPro footage. Like me walking through a realistic forest. That was shot with, like, GoPro. This reminds me of the early GoPro footage. Like the drones and such also. And yes, I did add a T-Rex, because my son was watching me kind of mess around with this yesterday. And he's like, Dad, where's the T-Rex? I was like, of course you're going to want a T-Rex. So I put the T-Rex on and then he took his headset off because he got scared. But yeah, this, this looks amazing, man. It's fantastic. That is one hungry looking T-Rex right there. Let's see if I can face this. I don't like the snap, to be honest. I might try to figure out how to do it, like, not not a snap, because that's, I could get annoying. Yeah, I'll point at the T-Rex. China number one. It's pretty cool, man. I think we hit a rock. Oh, no, we didn't. Even the rocks are freaking amazing looking, man. It's beautiful racks, man. Uh oh. I just pressed a button. I don't know what happened. I'm just joking. But but yeah, that's pretty much it for this small demo. Again, I just packaged it up. Add a couple of um, animals to it and such. And pretty much put it into VR. Again, it's like 12, it's like, it's like 20 gigs. It's pretty big, but this environment is big. I am going to be trying to kind of create my own environment using the PCGs in this demo. Just kind of smaller ones. And then package those up. For people who don't want to download like 20 gigs. But yeah. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think. Like always, thanks for watching. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out.